Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Adventures in Careerland. I'm your host, Adriano Magnifico. Come on. Can we? Oh, what? Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. That's our music. Okay. The producers. I'm working with two producers here. Okay. Isabella from Brazil and Lily from China. Adriano from Canada. That's our music. Okay, please go. I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, th that's okay. All right, I've had enough of the music. You, you <laughs> producers have to go find us some real music, okay? Yeah, but in fact, I really like your music. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I'm thinking is just instead of let you to do every time, we can just, you know, pre-record it and we do some animation and then we put it as an intro. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Well, that would take some effort. So are, are we going to work at it? Is that what we're going to do? We're going to make real music here? Yeah. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Me but, too. Let's but, plan that, Lily. Okay. Let's make that happen. The okay. producers are going to make it happen. Okay. This is fantastic. Anyway, it's time for another session of Adventures in Careerland. And this is the podcast that we talk to, where we talk to students. And we want to hear the stories of students, what they're all about, what, what path they took, and why they made the decisions they made. And there's no better student team to talk with than the two producers who are working for the Arts and Tech Center broadcast media program. When I say they're working for them, they're actually students in the program. And they're trying to get really skilled in this profession so that they can move on and work gamefully in the industry. And I can tell you, they're pretty good. This whole program, the Arts and Tech Center, the Louis Riel Arts and Tech Center's broadcast media program is non-parallel. There's, It's quite amazing. And the skills and attributes they develop here about working and uh, building skills and becoming more confident to go into the world and make their way, unbelievable. So we're pretty happy today to have our first guest our first student guest, who's one of the producers. It's Lily. Thank you. Hey. Hi, everybody. Applause. <laughs> and by the way, just so you're all aware, we are all socially distancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm in a hazmat suit, and <laughs> it's very difficult to talk. And uh, I, I, I think the – I'm not really in a hazmat suit, but we are being quite quite conscious of uh, of the distance and and how we talk to one another in our spaces. We're – we're, we're socially distancing properly. Uh, I hope they do come up with a hazmat suit that's very stylish. I think that's the new trend. What do you think? Would you wear a hazmat suit, Isabella? Oh, it had to be a little bit more stylish. and But I think so. I'm not going to say that I wouldn't, but You're looking we'll at me. See. You won't. You're, you think I'm an idiot. <laughs> you think it's the dumbest thing I've ever said. And I will say some dumb things. What do you think, Lily? Would you wear a hazmat suit? I, I would like to try anything I never tried. You no. know? It's a kind of experience for Can the you life. imagine having a barbecue with everyone wearing these suits? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That would be so weird. Oh. But, but we, we might get to this point at some point, you know, with everything that's going on. Well, imagine playing bocce at my family picnic in the hazmat suit. That's what that's a picture oh. I have. Fantastic. <laughs> anyway, hey Lily, Lily's a very unique student because she is a Gen X. Uh -huh. A Gen X means she's slightly older but has a youthful vitality that is oh. so evident. But she's yeah. slightly older than uh, than Isabella here, and she's been a, a a person who's recently immigrated to Canada. Yep. So when did you come? Tell us when you came, where you came from a little bit. Okay. Um, I moved to Canada since last August. And uh, I just, this is my one year anniversary just for, for arriving in Canada. And I'm from China. My hometown is uh, in northeast part of China on the border, very close with uh, Mongolia and uh, Russia. And what is very interesting is my city is also an immigrant city. I just checked the history, you know, back to 1912, 70% citizens in my city, in, in my hometown, they are Europeans, they are not Chinese. And I, I get use of this, all my neighborhood, they are Russian, they, they speak Russian language and all these things. So it's quite interesting. And our, everybody at our community, we can speak some Japanese, we can speak some <laughs> Russian, mm -hmm. you know, it's quite interesting. So how many languages do you speak? 
Ah,、uh, it depends. You know what do you mean? I can speak, but you know I can say something. Okay, what are you doing? Jindes and Ohio, good day, mas. I can I can say it. What did you just say、thing. to me? <laughs> I just say you. My name is a.、Uh, uh, I I'm Chen. I am Miss Chen. Okay. Okay, and I say how are you and something I, like that. I, I thought you might have said, "Hey, you got cheese on your shoe or something." <laughs> <No> . <laughs> okay. That's okay. So, you come from a place in China, Harbin. Yeah. That has a very diverse culture. So、yeah. you you were a student. Think back to when you were a student. Yes. And、um, you, now you work with many of the students. I would say you are one of the, one of the、uh, kind of the elder statesmen of this program, yeah, right?、Sure. I, I would always, say. I always、so、say that I'm Isab- the grandma. <laughs> Is Isabel is barely out of diapers, and、yeah. we're, we are you and I have、yeah. have have been around a little longer, me、mm-hmm. longer than you.、Uh, what was it like being a student back in China? Yeah. Because we have these crazy perceptions of China. Western <laughs> media talks about China in the weirdest ways, right? So, can you dispel some of those myths about being a student in China? That it, it wasn't some repressive regime that you you couldn't walk and you couldn't look anywhere, and you. I, I've、oh、never no, thought it was like that. No, it's not like that. It's it's not like that. But is there's some big difference? I, I mean, things change. Back to my age when I was a teenager. Okay, I think my best、um, how to say memory is. In my teenager, because I can run all over the world and I can play with all my friends, and I, I play volleyball, I play badminton, and、uh, I, I sometimes I do absent, you know, from the class and <laughs> go to the riverside. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, it's not good. Are you saying, good... Lily, you skip class? Yes. yes. What is going on here? <laughs> yeah, but oh, shame, Lily. Yeah, now, now, no, West no. Western media would say they must have hunted you down then <laughs> and dragged you back to class. No, but I, I, I'm <laughs> try to hide in in a garden just near my school and、uh, play cards with my my classmates. It's something like that. <laughs> but I got very good score.、Uh, I mean, great,、uh, great, great. You're you're a good student. Yeah, I'm a good student. I I, that's why some of my classmates will will very、uh, how to say. Uh, accuse me to say, oh, why, Lily? By then, you you call us to play with you, and then you got a better result than us. You know, it's a kind of. But I, I'm not mean to do that. So you're a bit of a project, a pro, prodigy, a <laughs> prodigy. What? You're really smart. <laughs> I don't, I'm not smart as I could be. I, I'm not good at、uh, science. I'm not good at science. Science. Uh, science. Uh,、okay. Physical and chemical and mathematics. I'm so poor on these things, but I'm I'm good at uh, uh, literal uh, writing something. Oh, you're yeah, a writer. And, yeah. Are yeah, you I, an artist? I'm not an artist, but I like drawing pictures. I like to take pic-、uh, photos and all this. And also, I got some award on my you know painting or something at middle school, and I got my first novel published on my senior high school. So you, you had a, you have a novel published. <laughs> Yeah, I have a novel pu- published, and I got what do you call that? Is it translated in many languages for us all? No, 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 no. It's <laughs> Chinese. Chinese. No, tell us what is your novel about? Because I'm very excited to see like what you wrote at yeah, such I, a young I, age. You know, I, I the first year of my senior high school,、um, I just、uh, really、um, how to say memorized the good life in my、uh, junior middle school. The three year, I really enjoy a lot. And I'm missing all the classmates there because you know after you go to the senior, you you need to dispatch to different group and people will move to different high school, so we separate and I miss all my classmates a lot. So that winter holiday, I stay at home, use two months to write a no- a novel about my juniors,、uh, middle school's life, teachers, students, all the stories happened and.、Uh, Many things, how their parents dealing with things, all these things happen, and then my mother stolen my essay because I I hide them. I don't want anybody read it, you know. Oh, so this was a secret. A secret It's a、novel. secret novel, and my mother、mm-hmm. just you know she she just、uh, took the draft and then she she gave to a publisher and to say, okay, see, look at my daughter's. Work. Oh, she、wow. didn't steal the draft because you were doing something covert or awful. <laughs> she wanted to promote you. Yeah, I don't want. I, I'm a. By then, I'm a very shy girl. You know, I don't. I don't really. I, I even afraid to talk in front of people. 
I'm really afraid. I, I never do it until my senior high school. And then my mother just took my draft, and then it got published. And so that when I move, I, I start on the second year of my senior high school, everybody waving hand in the corridor to me, oh my god, you're so famous, everybody know you, and we read your articles and things like that. And I really get very embarrassed. You know, that's, that's, <laughs> that's my, 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 my school um, life by then. Uh, it, it shows a kind of a typically Chinese uh, family because my parents, they want to control my life. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's true. My mother You mean there were helicopter parents way back then? <laughs> yeah, I China? don't know what happened here <laughs> in Canada, but at my age, my mother always, my mother was a very powerful woman. She wanted to control everything of my life. Even now, she wants to control my life. <laughs> she said, okay, you can't marry that guy. He's not a good uh, husband. Uh, you, you should separate with him. You can't go to that company. It's not a good company. Well, what's the matter with that? I do, uh, do that with my own children. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 I so, approve it all. You know, I'm Italian. You're Chinese. I'm Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I make sure everybody does what we need to do to, to be successful. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> And I say, okay, mom, I can't, I can't, it's my life, you know. So my mother, she's always very angry with me because I never want to listen to her. It's not a kind of suggestion, it's a kind of order. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's my student life, it's like that. And then, because I like to write articles, as it's a kind of a way that I fight with my mom because I don't communicate with my mom. I just write everything because I have nobody to talk. And it's, it's something like that. And then all my three years in senior high school, I keep writing, I keep writing. And I don't know how about the system here uh, in, uh, in Canada. At the second year, we need to separate. We need to make up your mind to say, okay, in future you will focus on science or you want to focus on uh, literal. Uh, humanities or art. Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah. Arts or humanities, different kind of, you need to choose your direction and, and that's that, by about grade 11 uh here, yeah or grade 10 or grade, grade 10, 10 or 11 10 or 11 okay. yeah and i say okay i don't want to be sense because i'm so poor at the result <laughs> of sense and, and uh, my sense teacher they're very happy to send me to the arts <laughs> class you know <laughs> and they, they want to celebrate oh my god the girl finally leave us our class because i always Draw down the average score of of all my class, you know, because oh. my, I got very so poor. Chinese kids in school were were taken into these two streams. It, that goes on all the on time. On my age, yeah. So on my it, generation, I mean, yeah. in, in our system, you choose whatever you like. You can you can go into the sciences and and do your best and not mm -hmm. achieve well, mm -hmm. but they would automatically move you away and say, "This is not your gig. You ought to go to this." And they would just push you there, or did you no, ever no, no. have choice? I have a choice. Okay. I need to make the choice. Yeah. And uh, I, I, of course, I choose uh, arts and humanity. I, I don't choose science. And then I move, and I'm good at history, and I'm good at uh, geography, and I, you know, I like these kind of things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I enjoy a lot on my last year of study in <laughs> high school. And after past my uh, the final examination, we have a final examination, and then you with this score, and you can apply for you know uh, the college and universities as you want. Okay, so that's at the end of your high school experience. You yeah. write kind of a final exam, like an SAT in the United States. Yes, something okay. like that. Yeah, and that's very important. And nowadays, it became more and more important, and because the competition is so high. At my age, it's not like everybody go to school. It's uh, we are just you know uh, start the booming of our economy at yes. uh, yes. the beginning of nineteen eighties, uh, right? But come to nineteen nineties, the competition is like very very uh, high. At w when I, I I still remember there is one uh, number to say that when I try to go to university, it's like uh, ten high school students. There should be three you can go to the university. So mm -hmm. the other seven, maybe they go to some, they go to find a job or they go to... to the Do some of them go into the trades route where they become mechanics or they become uh, technical uh, yeah. uh, 
I don't know. Well, like there, like, like we would have here. We have plumbers at the Arts and Tech Center. We have plumbers. Yeah, we have, we have mechanics. Um, we have other education system. Uh, I mean, uh, institutions there. It's like a kind of technical school. Yes. Uh, and you do your cutting hairs and uh, you help people make up and all that. Like, like, like what do we have here today? Mm. Uh, but but at, at my mom's think I shouldn't do that kind of job because all my family, most of the members, they are doctors, they are teachers. So my mom assumed that I must became a kind of knowledgeable and with a high a high end professional yes okay that's my mother's you know so what did you do then like you, you had a nice you have been a student yep. uh you were a student there and then you went to work where did you go to work like what was your whole career in china oh that's another story <laughs> <laughs> well you we know? only got 20 minutes oh, so okay make, sorry. It, make it quick i will make it quick <laughs> okay at my age in night uh i grow i graduate uh, from my co uh, college, I mean, I have a first, my diploma is a three-year col uh, college. And uh, in, in my major is international trade. And um, after I graduate, at that time in China, it's normally you go to a kind of, uh, you know, state-owned state -own business. Uh, people will choose this. All you work for the government, like administration things, that's good job. Everybody thinks that's good job. But I don't like both. I Why? don't. Why? I think it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> you figure that out fast, right? Yeah, I, I really, I, I, I just hate it. I don't want. And um, I have watched one uh, Singapore TV show in China. It's a fir I think that's the first one I, I see for foreign, um, how to say, imported, an imported TV show. Yeah, yeah okay, an, an imported, imported show. And they are telling a story about five star hotels. And about all the employees, they, how their career life in the five-star hotels. I'm really, I'd say, uh, um, admired them. Oh. And, I, and I make up my mind. I say, oh, I want to work in five-star hotels. Five-star hotel. Yeah. You, you only wanted the best hotel, didn't you? <laughs> five-star hotel. Unfortunately, in my city, we even don't have hotels. You know, we don't <laughs> have international <laughs> hotels. We don't have international companies come to my city. By the end of, um, I think, 1996. That's Harbin, though? Harbin, Harbin. Harbin didn't have big hotels? We have big hotels, but it's a 100-year-old hotel oh, and so managed by government. Very, very rustic, run by the government. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that still. It's okay. not what I want. Okay. So you, you want to be an entrepreneur? No, not entrepreneur. I want to work for international company. Okay, you know? okay. And then... I'm lucky is on my second year, I think, of my co uh, college life. There's a Holiday Inn come to my city, you know, Holiday Inn. But well, it's only three. Never sees. Yeah, but it's only three stars. But it's also a new <laughs> thing in my city, you know, okay. at, that, at that time. The ever. Holiday Inn, oh yeah. my gosh. Three stars. And, okay, they, they are hiring, hiring some receptionist and, uh, you know, reservation and... I, I I tried to find a job there. That's my first job. I even is I even didn't stop my study. I, I start I studying and also I I working, is at the same time. So what were you studying exactly? A reservationist. A, re a, a re reservation a booking. Oh oh for the hotels. For the hotels. Oh so you were actually taking education related to the hotel industry then hospitality industry. No, I, my my program in college is international trade. Oh, that's right. You're back in the trade. Yeah. Okay. And then I, I, I find the first job is in the Holiday Inn Hotel as a reservationist. And okay. then I have been transferred to the front desk. At yes. I'm doing cashier and receptionist. Yes. But my mother strongly, how to say, can't accept this. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And my mother pushed me. As soon as you graduate, you must find another job. I couldn't imagine a good girl who can work in a foreigner's hotel, it's like my mother's, he said, it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, she, she couldn't accept. So I, upon my graduation, I find another job that is also an international company, but it's a talent, talent company called Lotus Group. It's, okay. a, yeah, it's a, also a famous in Asia, East Asia. They are doing a kind of agriculture yes. uh, things and uh, products. They they do uh, they do some um, chicken meat export 
and then they have import and export department. I'm so lucky, and I find a job. So you work for them? I work for them. For what was that like? That's logistics and supply chain. Yeah, something like that. And it's totally different as what I have learned from school. Yes. I, I learned from school international trade is like, okay, I negotiate with somebody, and I, I, I try to sign contract with somebody. It's, it's such kind of job. But that all helped you, right? Because when yes. you started those, that helped you get the other jobs. Yes. How? Yeah, how? Because I learned five kind of uh, uh, subjects in my col- uh, college linked with English. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. I need to write uh, letters, you know, emails, even at that time, not so much individual, personal email, but business email. And uh, I, I, I learned about uh, how to negotiate in English, you know, as all, all these kind of things. Okay. And then I have this kind of job. This is my... Okay, my my mother now satisfied. <laughs> okay, so now, where did you go from here? Because you're still you're still a student and doing that. Or are you out completely now and you're just working? I I just working. I already okay. graduated. Okay. And then after one year, I feel like this job is too simple for me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say that because I'm only I twenty-four years. I dare say, years. was your mother right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> because uh, Mama at, knows that. Yeah, but but at that time, I you know I always have a dream. I want to go outside to see worlds. I don't want to stay at my hometown. And I already you know I have f- twenty four years in in the same city. I want to go outside to see the world. So I I went to Beijing, the capital. And, I'm luckily I find another job, and this is a very famous company, but I don't know that company. The company name is Carrefour. Is Carrefour. A Carrefour, yeah. It's well a world done. second retailer, right? Yes. But I don't know Carrefour. In China at that time, most of the people, they don't know Carrefour. I just told you one story is after I worked six years for Carrefour China, and I have been transferred to Xinjiang <laughs> province, you know, west part yes. of China. And I tr- I, I, I've been sent there to open a new supermarket as a, as a div, uh, fresh division manager. And I, I need to train the people. I need to, you know, e- employ people. Yes. And I have uh, all my um, manager, uh, management team, I have uh, 24 people, you know, report yes. to me. Yes. And I need to bring all these people back to Harbin because we have the base there to train them. And the relatives, their families, they came to see me. What kind of people you are? Why you bring my daughter or my son? Where you want to bring them to? <laughs> and they don't know Kafur, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. They have no idea why you want to bring them to so far place. You want to sell them? <laughs> you know? So did these people scare you? <laughs> no, they don't scare me. They but in, ca- in fact, I scared them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. When they come and just say, I don't think you're taking them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Uh, I, I, it's, it's kind of, you know, that's... That's in, I think, year 2003, in West Part. Nobody know Kafur. Yes. Yeah, it's like that, you know. So in, in this part of things, I'll make me, you know, I travel a lot during my work in China. And I also I worked one year in Bangladesh uh, in, in, in another company. So I start to know different people and start to know different culture and start to understand why there are so many conflicts? Uh, is, is that right word? Yes, uh, conflicts. Conflicts. Divisions and conflicts, yes. Yes, because people, w- they will met, um, in fact, they will met the same problem, but how they're handling the problem is so diffi- different. Yes. Back to, because they're different culture and th- they're different hobby. So it, sometimes it's just like, I'm a kind of fish. And you're kind of a uh, mammal uh, animal. You are on the land, right? And you are used to your atmosphere, and I'm used to mine. I'd, I'd like <laughs> to be an otter. <laughs> <laughs> Otters like to play in the water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> it, you can't compare that water is good or land is good, yes. right? Yes. Water is good for fish, and land is definitely death for fish. <laughs> so I ch- I, I'm, I'm, I'm learning so much from all my experience. Yeah, so they had to you have to appreciate one another, right? Yes. 
And that's what makes us stronger when we're a stronger community. What yeah. we appreciate. Yes. And embrace yeah. the polarities and the differences between us. Yeah. Makes us stronger. So you've been through that. Now, this is your story is fascinating. Is this a typical story of a Chinese student? Uh, or would you be I went off the beaten path a bit and chose my own paths and uh, they were difficult? Or or do a lot of kids growing up in high school and choosing their career paths make some of the same calls you do based on their needs? Because sometimes, again, we have this crazy perception that, you know, you're all, that, 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 that Chinese folks sometimes are in a very, a very, uh, you know, uh, very kind of iron curtain kind of country, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we have this perception no. sometimes because no. of some of the way Western media presents it. Um, what I should say is like, uh, we don't have so many controls. Yes. But the family really controls. Ah. You, you see, yes, understand? Yes, it's not yes. the government who controls it, but family. Yes. In our culture is like that uh, the parents, they have the kind of uh, power to make some de decision for a case, or they can influence the decision making of their case. Yes. And the case, we are get used to, to, to listen. If there's not too much, um, how to say, annoying things there, and mo most of the time, we will listen to parents. Okay. See, that, that's, that's a great distinction. Yeah. It's, it's about family and pride and what's it's the It's like, right thing. you know, for, for this time, let's say, uh, currently in China, it's like, okay, most of the family will think to get a very high level education, you get master degree, doctor degree, it, you should be put all your efforts on this. Yes. So to, to achieve of this, you must to how to say stop to other entertainment. You shouldn't to do uh, watch focus, movies. Focus, 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 focus. Get very good. Study, study. Get, get yeah. very good. Yeah. Now, now you've come here. Do you see a big distinction between the way education systems work? Um, I think is one thing I'm really admired is uh, I don't know. Because I didn't join in China such kind of, uh, I mean, broadcasting and media program. Yes. But here I see a lot of facilities. It's amazing. And, uh, That's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. But in, I don't know what happened in China for the same program, you know. Yes. And uh, I, I do think that we, because here we have less populations. Yes. And you have less students in the class. Yes. Even in China, we have huge population so each class we have many students yes so we don't i think uh, for the resources here the case and students they have better resources average i mean on average better on resources average. and o overall more choices maybe yes for Bec students coming through another thing is for back to korea things here people can work until even when they already get retired and they can yes. they can still find a, a job or, or something but in China, it's uh, start to be difficult and difficult because we have so huge population and the yes. young generations, they grow so fast. Yes. And their knowledge and their skills, it's much, much better than my age. Their knowledge structure. Are uh, you're pretty skilled, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're pretty skilled. Thank you. <laughs> okay. That's and the one well, thing I actually really want to know yeah. is because you said that you were super shy in yeah. high school. Yeah. And then now you're in a broadcast media program where you yeah. have to speak more and, yeah, you know, know, present in front of cameras. Yeah. So how was your growth from, you know, high school, <laughs> shy <laughs> Lily, to right now who you are? Okay. Yeah, well, how that's, did you grow? That's another story. Do we have enough time? <laughs> <laughs> well, give us... Yeah, I just put it in short. There is one time in my senior high school, because I write articles, and p teachers, they like me. They think, okay, I got an award, and uh, I, I should be a kind of uh, uh, example to yes. some other yes. students, right? And so they organize uh, an event, and they invite me to give a speech to students and teachers. I'm so nervous. I never do like that. I even don't speak in front of t more than two people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I write my uh, draft script. Yes. I write my script. And the script is perfect. I, I try to remember, re you know, I reciting, reciting every time practice. But 
as soon as I stand in front of the microphone, my brain is empty. I remember nothing. <laughs> I just stand there. Wow. For you know two or five minutes, I don't know. I just like this, and everybody look at me. <laughs> you know, it's a kind of, and then. I, I, okay, I just ran away. And one of my classmates, he tried to, how to say, um, try to say, okay, Lily, it's not a big deal. It's try okay. to support you. Yeah, try to support me. But at that time, it's a kind of, I feel like, oh my God, he hurts me more than those yes, people. Yes. So you know? how do you feel now? No, I feel better. Yeah, you look, you've come a long way, From baby. From that time, I just make my make my uh, make up my mind to say it to talk to myself and say, I must conquer this. I that's must, awesome. yeah, I must get, I'd and, say. And, and Lily, that's a common this. thing. Like uh, students have many fears that they constantly have to overcome. Anxieties, they constantly have to overcome. It You're takes right. practice and support. You had some support. I love that you had some support from a person who mm -hmm. said, it's okay, Lily. Yeah. And kids search for that here too. Like students search for that here. Yes. Adults search for that. The yeah. community and the support group is, is so important. So it's it sounds like you have one. Now you came here though. You made a call to come here. This is <laughs> you had a life. You were you also told me you were an HR director at one point. Like you have many, we could go on for that a long time. Your career is varied and interesting. Mm -hmm. Um it's it, it it's almost like you said, <laughs> I've I have to make a new call. Yeah. What would precipitate that? Why did you do that and come here? Where here? you you should be in the in in okay. China, earning a great, earning a great salary right now. You've turned oh. your back on that, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, to come to yeah, to you're, become you're a right. student in the broadcast media program. Why? Well, yeah, first is because I want to stay with my daughter. She's 15 year old and mm -hmm. she's an international student here in Canada. I don't want to leave her alone. Mm -hmm. And because of my work, my husband's work, in the past 10 years we don't accompany her a lot. We didn't, and we feel regret. And we say that uh, until her 18 years, we still have four years, right? F now three to stay with her. So, yes. so that's the first reason we move here. And then I say, I'm a kind of people that I don't want to waste any of my time. I want to always keep studying. I, 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 you know, the life in China, yes, it's very comfortable. I always say to my friend, it's like, I'm a kind of frog in a very warm water, and I don't know when I will be boiled, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, always, I always say this to my friend, be, be how to say, um, be anxious. Yes. Don't, don't always stay in a comfortable, comfortable yes. zone. Yes. You will kill yourself, and you will don't know what outside the world change. They're running fast. Well, we would call that, you're a lifelong learner, <laughs> right? You yes. want to learn all the time. You, yeah. you constantly... You have a growth mindset and you constantly want to continue to learn. Yeah. That's a powerful thing. That's what we try and in, instill in, in our students always. Yes. And so that's that's a great example for kids. It never ends. Yeah. Like if you want to live and grow and be prosperous, but really more than that, feel right inside. Yes. Because, you know, to be a good manager, you can get uh, good pay. You can get respect from people, the society. Yes, yes. But when you get a certain level or you doing such kind of things for many years, I will feel like um, I, need, I need something more. I need yes. energies. Like that they will Did have the artistic start. part of you squee squeeze out of you and go, I have to be more artistic in my life? Artist. Because some, well, artistic, because you were an HR manager. You yes. were doing some supply chain. That's very technical kind of work yes. a lot of the time. Lots of paper, I imagine. Lots of papers you're filling out. Yes. Lots of routine work as well. Yes. Did you feel like, I, I'm not flowering? Mm -hmm. I'm not prospering? I'm not blossoming as a person? Um, I always, you know, for, for me, HR and uh, uh, supply chain is not only, um, not only skill things. I I th I, s I think that is a kind of more for human. I deal a lot of I deal uh, I'm dealing with many many kind of people. Yes. Except ex especially for HR because I, I have handled the strikes, you know. Yes. Hundreds of people they they they, they shout upon me to <laughs> say, okay, I want to increase my salary. <laughs> I want to cut my working yes. hours. Yes. And people getting hurt, 
and even people people dive in yeah. work. Yes, and yes. I need to handle all these kind of things. And the most the things I'd say um, make me think deep is about what is myself when I see when I really face a manager just dead in front of me by heart attack in the meeting, and I can't I I can't save him. And I, I, I really come back to ask myself, if I got the same kind of situation, am I a uh, regret of my life? And in my heart, it's like I want to be an art. I want to be a writer. Mm -hmm. But I never have a chance to focus on this part of things, you know? I want to be a photographer. But So you followed your daughter, but you've also following your heart a bit. I'm really happy I'm here. Oh, in good for ATC, you. in this program, I'm really, really happy. It's like my, I always told my husband, it's like my second life. You good. Know? I got re, how to say, start. Yes. It's a kind of a rotation. It's like uh, I come back to my teena teenage time, mm -hmm. and I study every day with all these teenagers, you know. They really um, promote me a lot. They, they support you. They support me. And, uh, you know, my English improved a lot. And Mr. P pushed me every day, read news in front of the microphone. That's Mr. Plate, Inc., who runs the art or the broadcast yes, media program? Yes, it's our teacher. Yes. It's our supervisor, our boss. Yes. <laughs> our, our boss. <laughs> yeah, our <laughs> boss. And he, he's really, he pushed me a lot. He pushed me to sit in front of the camera. I hate, I hate to sit in front of camera. I don't want to show my face. <laughs> it's like that. But it's like, life is like this. There's many things you don't want to do, you hate to do, but to achieve yourself or to achieve a certain kind of uh, successful level, you have to push yourself to do something you don't like. And then you will find out even these things at the beginning you don't like, and then you will find some interesting things inside. Yes, that, that's a great that, point. Yes. Yeah, and that, that will fulfill yourself. Yes. And finally, you will find everything <laughs> you have done it's like a step of your of your road and make you make you you yes like that path we'll yeah. end on this lily we'll just say yeah th the path to self actualization or to find out, out who you truly are yeah is a long and varied one and you've taken so many routes and so many divergent steps off the beaten path that a lot of people just stay on for the longest time mm -hmm. You've decided that I need to explore. I need to see my potential. Yes. And in my in my heart of hearts, I am an artist. Yes. And who wants to be creative and who wants to achieve and wants to create. Yeah. So Lily, you're one of the most creative people I know here. <laughs> Thank you. Isabella, what do you think? Is, is this is unbelievable? Oh, yeah. What a story. I was so inspired. Like I didn't say much because you were just sharing so much about your life. And it's so great to see how a roller coaster of a ride you've gone through. I uh, I still have a last word to share with Kay. people. You're getting the last word. What yeah, is it? Yeah, is that um, people will get bored when you do certain career for a certain long time. That's for sure. Yes. But if you put your arts, I mean arts, not hearts. Yes. You know, you everybody have some arts sense in their life. Yes. If you put this in your career, you yes. will enjoy it. Yes. Even, you know, human resource sometimes, you know, some sort of boring. Yes. <laughs> but if you put your kind of your personality's arts inside and you will start to feel it's kind of enjoy thing. Well, and we'll just end on that because there is an art in every profession. Uh -huh. There is an artistic piece and you yeah. continue to seek them and you find them. Yes. And your life is turning out just great. And you're yes. becoming a heck of a student here. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you start running this place. <laughs> Thank you. Very impressive. Anyway, that's the end. If we had producers with music, then we'd have some music come on. So um, that's something we have to work on. But And it should be kind of fading out. But that's all we got right now. So this was our first, fo first podcast. And it went a little longer than we wanted. So we apologize for that. But... I think Lily's story is super interesting and we could have gone on longer and you're probably disappointed that we ended. So we'll see you next time. What fun this was. Why don't you guys uh, give us a hearty goodbye or something? What? Yeah, thanks for inviting me. 
and I'm, I'm I will be very happy to work with you guys. <laughs> oh, it it's our honor. I I I uh I feel like you're going to start giving advice to my sons and stuff. <laughs> very good. <laughs> and what are you thinking about this? First first one. I thought this was such a great start for this amazing podcast. I mean, we're going to listen to people from all over here at ATC. And it was just great to have you, Lily, and thank hear you. your life story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and remember, you. we're all about students. And we're mm-hmm. looking for the student. Yeah. And now we're looking for the art yeah. in being a student. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was great. Take yeah. care, everybody. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Till next time.